it comes to town, and they beat the Hawks on their own home turf. A tough one to swallow as they have got to find some answers as they now go to two and four on the season. We, we are a team that has tremendous expectations, and uh, uh, to be where we are right now, um, it puts us in a position of tremendous adversity for a team that uh, um, it calls on you. It calls on you to a lot of stuff, but it calls on us to believe in the guys in the locker room and believe in what we're doing and to, and to hang together until we, we get things right. How do you get it right? Start with a quarterback with skills like no other. Russell takes the snap. As time spins out, makes a second man miss, still on the move. Now he fires near side. Coming back to make the catch of Talk about making something out of nothing. Russell Wilson was dead to right not once, but twice. He had to avoid three different Detroit Lion defenders. That's what makes this guy special, those type of plays. Let's go! Let's go! That's how you take what they give you, bro. I got you. Of course, the NFL's highest rated quarterback in 2015 did have some help. I'm here! I'm here! I'm right here. Hey, when you need me, Dave, when you need me, I'll be out there. Doug Baldwin does it again. Can anybody stop this combination right now? So. Probably not because the best secondary in the game plays for the Seahawks, too. Throws it down the seam, and it is knocked away. A huge play by uh, Earl Thomas. Oh, yeah, they can cover, too. Put Richard Sherman on Antonio Brown because he just kind of smothers up receivers, and he did it right there to Antonio Brown. For the fourth straight season, the Seahawks led the NFL in scoring defense. That hasn't happened in half a century. Three and out on takeaway. That's the standard now. Everybody understand that. They get no more. Flip. Palmer gets hit. Ball, Ball down. comes down. It's picked up. Going the other way. It's going to be a touchdown. Seahawks, are you kidding me, Bobby Wagner? The Seahawks defense. Finds a way to do it. Finds a way to do it. What that really means in Seattle is find the will to do it. And in week seven against the rival 49ers, the Hawks started to roll. Let's go. Nothing else matters but right now. Bring the fire. Oh, yeah. Bring the passion. Bring the locked in mode. Let's go to work. That's it. That's it. is coming. Kaepernick goes down. Michael Bennett. He gets wrapped up by Michael Bennett and goes down. Kaepernick stands in the pocket. He's flushed. He goes down again. And right now the Seahawks defenders are just pinning their ears back. Who's gave me chill? <laughs> Whoa, don't do me like that. Oh, oh, Becky, oh, Becky. <laughs> Russell drops back deep. Looks. Throws deep. Got a man downfield. Got a man out there. Tyler Lockett, he's got it. Touchdown, Seahawks! Oh, it feels good, man. I mean, we, we got the dub. Defense played great, and the great thing about it is we finished. Over the next two months, they won eight games, secured a playoff berth for the fourth straight season, and proved once again that the Seahawks aren't just tough and talented. They're resilient, too. Smart teams know that some seasons don't go as planned. But the great ones know setbacks are meant to be overcome. By midseason, the Hawks' bounce was back. And while most teams have a big problem with Big D's passing game, Seattle had the answer. Blitz is coming, throw far side, ball almost picked off. Richard Sherman stepped in front of Dez Bryant. Sure, Sherman shut Dez down, but he actually had lots of help. Richard Sherman again had great coverage on Dez Bryant. That ball was underthrown because of the hit he took by Cliff Averill as he threw the football. Team defense is the best defense, and the Seahawks simply dominated the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Fade. Russell looks, dumps it down the middle, Luke Wilson, down to the 10, down to the 5, he falls across the line, he's in, touchdown, Seahawks! Let's go, baby! Let's go, 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 let's
the Seahawks on top. Here's the spot. The kick is out. And Stephen Houchka is true. Boots the Seahawks in front. Two wins in a row, and it looked like Seattle might be off and running. They certainly had the horses to do it, like rookie running back Thomas Rawls, who went off against the 49ers. He gets it straight ahead. He breaks the tackle across the 20, 25. Puts his head down across the 30. This kid's for real now. A potent blend of speed and power, Rawls led the league with a 5.6 yards per carry average. Rawls is running real well, huh? What a day for Thomas Rawls, who now has the second most all-time rushing yards in a single game at 209. He broke Kurt Warner's rushing record for rookies, which was 207. What a day! What a day, boy! What a day! This young thoroughbred is no one-trick pony, and he capped the route with a nifty grab and gallop. I see Rosie. I see Big Dog. Never know. You just never know. Actually, there has been a sure thing in the Seahawks' backfield for many years. The one and only Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch, the beast, is on the loose. This is what the Seahawks have needed. Don't you guys know you can't tackle beast mode like that? Half the time, you couldn't tackle him at all. Lynch looks for running room on the right side. Still gets a little pressure. He keeps going, keeps his legs going. He's in the touchdown. Marshawn Lynch, how did you do that? No one knows, though there's no doubt no one ever ran harder. Turn hand to Lynch. He stutter steps, breaks through the line, makes a man miss. Cuts back outside, right 30, 35, 40, down the far sideline. Pushes a defender, keeps fighting. He's still moving. He's going to go. Down to the 20, the 15, they're chasing it. Are you kidding me? After five glorious years as a Seahawk, Marshawn Lynch is saying goodbye. All the 12s can say is thanks. Throw that first punch and keep swinging, man. All you got, every play. Here we go. All you got, every play. Let's, Let's go. go. Be physical all day. Throw that first punch and keep swinging. Seattle took the fight to the Steelers by letting the passing game take flight. Snap looks to the end zone. He throws. He's got it. Russell takes a shotgun snap on first down. He's going to go deep. Got Jimmy Graham, who leaps up. Does he hang on? He does all the way down the one yard line. Wow. Throws inside. Ball is in. The end zone. Touchdown. Seahawks. Well, we said coming into the game that we can protect up front. There's going to be some big scenes back there for Russell to throw the football. With perfect protection came sublime scores. Russell has all kinds of time. He's going to throw it out of the inside. Ball is there. He's got it. Let's do some clock, win this game right here. Touchdown. <laughs> Third down and 10, the Seahawks offense. They've hit some icy spots. This appears to be one of them, although Russell Wilson has been incredible on third downs in this second half. That's the sure sign of a great quarterback, playing best when it matters most. Blitz, Russell stands strong, throws to the middle. Ball is gone. Turning up field is Bowman. He breaks the tackle. Down the near side, like 40, 30, 20. They're not going to get it. Touchdown, Seahawks. An 80-yard touchdown. His third of the day. And the Seahawks are going to come away with a whale of a victory. How about your QB today? 21 for 33, 45, five touchdowns. One. <laughs> Everybody, everybody contributed such a big way today. It was such a heartfelt, tough-ass game. That was a hell of a team. I love that they brought it out. It great job today. Let's go ahead and uh, break it down for us. Come on, Russ! Come on, Russ! Sometimes a team has to travel a crooked road before they get straightened out. But at 6-5, and five, the Hawks now had a winning record for the first time all season. And they were just getting started. Shotgun snap, four-man rushing, 
fires right down the middle of the field. Got a man in the end zone. It's Baldwin. Touchdown, Seahawks. Man, this guy is really in the zone wow. right now, Russell Wilson. Let's see run that run, run, run. Hey, baby. Hey, that boy, Russell Wilson, threw that ball on the money, boy, on the money. Here comes the blitz. Throw down the middle. Doug Baldwin. Touchdown, Seahawks. And the Seahawks are shellacking the Minnesota Vikings. We have a long ways to go. We got one game next week. We'll get back after that. But right now, feel great. You deserve it to play your ass off. A week later, they flew across country to face the Ravens, who had to be muttering nevermore after Seattle's offensive explosion. Has all kinds of time. Now he throws to the middle of the end zone. It's called for a touchdown. Russell has time. Fires down the middle. Got his man going one. He is in. Wide open. Touchdown. Doesn't look like there's a defense in the league that can stop Russell Wilson to Doug Baldwin. While the offense looked unstoppable, head coach Pete Carroll remained irrepressible. <laughs> you got to turn up today. You know I'm going to be turned up. One, one thing I do is turn up. Hey. All right, boys, have a great day today, huh? Good luck, fellas. Have a great day today. Let's do this right here. Woo! Oh! Oh, bang, on way to go! Yes, sir! when you can, you know? Absolutely. Doug's gonna be on his own right here. Doug Baldwin continued his scoring jag, notching his 11th TD in a five-game stretch, a feat only ever done once before by some guy named Rice. He is in again! He has tied the franchise record now with his 13th touchdown reception. Uh, when you just gonna score every time we get the ball? You gonna score every time we get it? No! It just seemed that way. Truth is, Russell Wilson had his choice of targets thanks to the big man up front. Out of way to freaking pass pro! He's back there all day long! Woo! Oh, I, love, I love that one, man. I love that one. Great job, buddy. Freaking cooking steaks back there! He's flipping them and burgers and like that! Woo! God, that's so good! So good! So good! God, no! It's our turn, right, fellas? Time to get that ball. Come on, don't the freaking rock out of time. Come on, one time, one time, one time. Manziel drops back, fires the ball out, really it's intercepted. And that's going to be the last nail in the coffin for the Cleveland Brown. First thing, there's a lot of times I said you ain't done nothing yet. I said I told you, you ain't done nothing yet. Well, today, we did a little something today. Today, Seahawks be, will be playing in the playoffs somewhere down the road here. Oh, way to go, Looking for their eighth win in nine games and maybe the chance to make a statement heading into the playoffs, the Seahawks dominated the Cardinals. Russell Lowe throws back near side, ball is caught, it's into the end zone for a touchdown, Seahawks! Are you kidding me? A 290-pound fullback catches a flare pass out of the backfield and Russell Wilson ties a franchise record of 32 touchdown passes. Oh, touchdown. He touched down. Touchdown. Come on, come on. Few offenses were as potent as the Seahawks, and absolutely none was prettier. Fittingly, the defense capped the win. Fires out there, it's intercepted. Getting underneath it is Earl Thomas. And already, fans are headed to the exits. We just, we, today, we set an all-time NFL record today for the best scoring defense for four straight years wow. in the wow. NFL. Wow. I mean, that, that's something else. Woo! Hey, hey, really, take a moment, take a moment. To do that for four straight seasons, one year after another, after another, after another. The last time that record was held was in 1950 by the Cleveland Browns. No, that's a fantastic job. It is a brutally cold day. We expect kickoff about minus seven degrees with a wind chill of down near minus 20. I don't care what nobody say, boy, it's cold. It is cold on the stadium surface. In the sun, it's, nah, it's not even relatively balmy. You got icicles on your eyebrows. Huh? 
You got icicles on your eyebrows. This is the place we live for. This is the times we dream of. It can't get no better than this. Let's do it. The best defenses find a way to stop an opposing team's best weapon. Guess where the Seahawks flex their muscle? You too, you too weak, you too weak, bro. I know y'all can't run the ball against us, man. <laughs> you know that's all we do. <laughs> hey, bring your body, bring your feet, get these guys barking now, all right? The Seahawks were making plays, but not scoring points. Down the middle, reaching up, Doug Bowl with one hand. How in the world did he catch that ball? Coming into the fourth quarter, Minnesota has made it a two-score game. We are going to follow you. You, you lead us, you, okay? Go like it. I told you before, you lead us to darkness, we will follow you, okay? You. So strap up and let's get this. Let's go work. Let's, let's do go. this. Let's go. Fourth quarter, crunch time. When great teams use character to make great plays. Oh, a snap goes far beyond Russell. He slides down, picks it up, on the move, rolls, looks right, down the middle. Tyler Lockett, he's got it in the middle of the field. He gets a block, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Nick tie tackled out of the four-yard line. How in the world did they do that? Just the kind of ad-lib athleticism they displayed all year. Two plays later, they were back in the game. Dumps off the pass, it's in. Touchdown, Seahawks. All we need is one turnover, though. A three and out might have done the job, but the league's best defense went one better. Great job by the Seahawks. Cam Chancellor ripping it out. Oh, let's go! Let's the go! Seahawks defenders are going nuts. Stephen Hauschka stays sane and accurate. And the Seahawks take their first lead of the game. You house. Hey boy, that's big time. I love you house. Late in the fourth quarter, the Seahawks had the lead, but they still needed a little luck. 26 seconds left to go at the Seattle line, and Blair Walsh will be asked to come on and kick a field goal. The snap, the kick is up. Mr. It's no good! Are you kidding me? It's no good! Oh baby, it's Christmas in Minnesota, and the Seahawks have dodged a bullet. Sometimes, good things happen to good teams. Let's go Tampa Let's, three. Let's go Tampa! Let's go Tampa! One, two, three! Oh, no, 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 no. One, two, three! Let's go Tampa! Oh, yeah. A week later, the Hawks once again found themselves trailing in a playoff game. And Carolina is just whipping on this Seahawks team right now. I don't think there's a person on the planet would have said anything like this would happen. Carolina leads the Seahawks, 31 to nothing. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Greatest comeback of all time. Greatest comeback of all time. I'm telling y'all, greatest comeback of all time. Let's go to work. It's going to be the greatest comeback ever. I believe it. I believe in the guys right there in this group. I believe in the guys right here in this group. We believe together, man. Let's go. With faith, they say, you can accomplish anything. Of course, if the job is overcoming a 31-point deficit in the playoffs, having a big-arm quarterback doesn't hurt. What a nice start to this second half. The greatest comeback ever. I'm telling you, it's going to be the greatest comeback ever. It wasn't a miracle. It wasn't as if the Seahawks weren't taking their lumps. They were just giving better than they got. There is life in Charlotte, North Carolina. The defense pitched a second half shutout. While Wilson and the offense kept making plays, only they could. All right. Now he's looking to throw back. Now he's going to scramble. He looks. He throws to the end zone. And Seattle has come back to within seven. 31-24. With under two minutes to play, the Hawks had few options. You got to go for that onside kick. A long shot? Sure. But the thing about the 2015 Seahawks is that they never gave up, and they never stopped believing. Up in the air, coming down with it by the Carolina Panthers at midfield. 
Seahawks 2015 season comes to an end. Just because the team season ends doesn't mean their story does. Let's play for each other today, baby. Yeah, yeah, Let's do yeah, this. Yes, sir. Seahawks ball. All discipline. All hard work. Yes, all sir. effort. Ah. All discipline. All hard work. All effort. All true. And the reason why the Seahawks will make it back to the top of the NFL. They're too good with too many playmakers for any other future. Jimmy Graham, big number 88 from 30 yards out. Makes the catch, breaks the tackle, runs away from defenders. That's why you go out and get an all-world tight end. Having the 12s in their corner doesn't hurt either. They know how to pick them, how to coach them, and how to let them do their thing. Seahawks tie the locker, comes up four yards deep, brings it out across the 10, 15, has the whole 20, 30, 35, he's going to come down the near side by 40, are they going to catch it? No, the second half kickoff, run back, four, a touchdown, Tyler Lockett, welcome to Seattle, young man. Let's keep that energy up, baby, let's go, let's keep that energy up, let's keep dominating, let's go, come on. The energy will stay because the talent and passion are already there.